Welcome to Mtron Training Part 24. In this training tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at working with our throttle mass flow airflow strategy. Our throttle mass flow is an alternative way we can go in and estimate the amount of airflow that's entering our engine and part throttle in idle conditions. It's actually going to have a lot of benefits over something like speed density. We're going to talk about how to set it up, how it's going to work, and then how to actually calibrate and tune within our throttle mass flow airflow strategy. We're going to have a lot to cover. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our throttle mass flow airflow modeling strategy within our Mtron ECU. Our throttle mass flow is something that you probably haven't worked with before in other standalone systems. It's used in OEM level programming and OEM level type of applications. We'll find Ford EcoBoost, for example, runs throttle mass flow on some generations and years of EcoBoost engines. It's going to rely on having certain sensors and certain parameters to be fed into the Mtron in order to calculate and estimate what the amount of airflow is being ingested as we're in idle and part throttle conditions. We'll find that the throttle mass flow has a lot of advantages over something like speed density, but ultimately we want to run throttle mass flow in conjunction with another airflow modeling strategy such as a MAF or speed density. We can pair them up in what's known as a hybrid air modeled mode. We'll look at how to set that up in the next tutorial. This tutorial we're just going to be focusing on talking about everything related to calibrating and working within the throttle mass flow and not actually using it for any fuel tuning yet in our air and fuel modeling. We just need to validate the actual airflow models. I'm going to share with all the tips, share with you all the tips and tricks that I go through in order to make sure throttle mass flow is going to be valid before I actually turn it on and enable it and run in an air model hybrid blend type of mode with my other airflow strategy that I have, either speed density or mass airflow. So let's talk about what the actual throttle mass flow represents. Let's talk about how it works and the sensors that we need to have fit it to our engine in order to implement this. So let's break this down here. So throttle mass flow is an estimation of airflow. It estimates the airflow by knowing a few parameters or variables that we have to account for that we don't look at in something like speed density. We need to have a map pressure sensor, which we have in speed density, that needs to be fitted into our intake plenum that has to go after the throttle body. We also need to have another map pressure sensor, which would be known as the throttle inlet pressure. In that situation, we have to have that throttle inlet pressure mounted before the throttle body. If we're force induction, so supercharged or turbocharged, we typically mount our map pressure or throttle inlet pressure, um, in this case the throttle inlet pressure, on the charge pipe. Now, if you were naturally aspirated, you actually could run your barometric pressure sensor that's on board on the Mtron for your throttle inlet pressure because your throttle inlet pressure is going to be at atmospheric reference all the time. Now, we also need to have an air temp sensor. So that needs to be fitted somewhere in our vehicle. Um, and then we also need to know and tell the Mtron what the throttle body size is going to be. By knowing the throttle body size, the inner diameter, the throttle plate itself, the inner diameter of th the throttle bore, or the actual throttle plate. We can translate that into what's known as an effective area. And by knowing the effective area and comparing our pre and post map pressure readings, we can determine a pressure ratio. And by knowing what the air temperature is going to be, we could figure out the density of the air entering the engine. We'll figure out, again, what that airflow is coming past the throttle plate at any given operation point within vacuum conditions. And we can model it very, very accurately. So coming up on the screen right now, I have a nice just picture of what a typical throttle mass flow type setup is going to work with. This is actually found on a 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine from Ford. We'll find we have our map pressure sensor mounted on the actual intake plenum, and we find our throttle inlet pressure, or what Mtron's going to call boost pressure, on the actual charge pipe. Then we have our throttle body there. So by knowing those two sensors, what the pressure ratio, what the, the, the pressure drop across the throttle plate is going to be, in conjunction with an air temp measurement, which gives us charge temperature, we can figure out volume times uh, our density, which is going to be air mass. We can actually determine all of that. So um, that's going to be the idea behind throttle mass flow. It's going to constantly figure out and take a look at our pressure ratio, comparison between those sensors and the actual effective area of our throttle. By knowing what the effective area is doing and knowing that pressure ratio, we can pretty accurately determine what the volume flow of air is coming into the engine is going to be. And it's much more accurate in terms of that air mass representation than working with something like speed density. There also is a lot less setup and calibration work working within throttle mass flow. Now, we have some advantages and disadvantages. Some advantages, quicker to calibrate and tune and set up, get your engine up and running on throttle mass flow. 
will find Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.